So, Masechet Yuma, second chapter, first Mishnah. Introduction. Mishnatenu Mosifa Lelamed. Our Mishnah is going to continue to teach us Be'inyan Truma Tradition. You remember that the Kohen Gadol used to do it at midnight, we say, the Yom Kippur. He used to take out the ashes from the Mizbeach and put it next to, next to the altar. So, it's going to teach us how was it done in the other days. Keitzad ayu kuv'im bechol yom mi me'akoanim yasu avodazot. What determined if you got this job or you didn't get this job? There's a lot of Kohanim working. Who's doing this job? Because usually the current Gadol does it on Yom Kippur. What about all the other days? Who does it on the other days? V'yesh le'akdim. So in order to understand this, we need to see the history. What's the history? Sh'akohanim ayu nechlakim le'esrim ve'arba mishmarot. All the Kohanim were divided into, call it 24 families. Yeah? They were called 24 mishmarot. Oh. All the Kohanim. So if there's 100,000 Kohanim, you go, according to, you go back in time to, in the, the Kohanim, this was the time of King David, of King Solomon, not of King David, of King Solomon, and you divided all the Kohanim to 24 groups. Okay? Ubechol shavua haya over mishmar echad. So every week, they would change the family. So this week, there's, let, let's say there's 100,000, so there's 20,000 in each, in each giving 10,000 in every family, let's say. So every week, from these 10,000, they would come and they work in the Whatever temple. Kohanim. Whatever Kohanim there is in, the, in that family. Some families were bigger, some families were smaller. But in those so 24 we groups, oh, we we'll dis- we, 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 we'll work here, we'll, discuss, we'll discuss this. And every week they would exchange and a new family would come, a new Mishmar, it's word, a new God. And every Mishmar had six family members, six, you know, six household mem- uh, families. And every day of the week, another house would come and walk on Sunday. The, from, from, those, from those, one out of 24 would work for one week, and from, ad, from this one out of 24, one out of six would come on Sunday, one out of six would come on Monday, one out of six Tuesday, and so on and so forth. And in Shabbat, they will all work together. So Shabbat will be six times as much. And how would they dis- distribute the work? There's not enough work for everybody. There's so many people. So it used to be a lottery. They used to make a lottery, and we're going to discuss the lottery soon. And that's how they decided who's going to work on that day. But the Trumat Adeshen was taking place before the lottery. So how did they determine Trumat Adeshen? Later on, they established, you know what, we need to put it into lottery and we're going to see why. We're going to see in this Mishnah and the next Mishnah. Okay, let's see. In the beginning, anybody that wanted to take the ashes of the Mizbeach, which means the first job of the day, Anybody who wants to do the first job of the day, call Kohen Beit Av Shalotu Ayom. Every Kohen that was designated for that day, Harotzeli Trom Et Adeshen Ma'al Mizbeach Torem. If he wanted to do it, it was up to grabs. He does it. Bagmara Mevoar, the Gemara explains, She'afal Pi She'Kol Avodot Shom Mikdash Shemit Chalkot Bagoral. That even though all the other jobs, there used to be a lottery who got them on on to this service, to take off the ashes, there was no goral. Since it was done the first thing of the day, in other words, it was almost a preparation for the day. It's not part of the, it's cleaning from the, the last day. That's what it was, cleaning from the last day. They were afraid that if they're going to make a lottery for this, so it says, you know what's going to happen? Nobody's going to sleep at night. We want the Kohanim to have good sleep at night. 
if the first thing is not going to be a lottery, every other Kohanim are not going to get uh, a lot of sleep tonight, and we need them to be well rested when they do the work. And everybody is going to get up very early, and then they won't be able to do their jobs properly. So they say, any coin that comes first, you know, anyone and wants it, he takes it. And those people who get up early in the morning, they usually got it. What happens if you get up there in the morning? You're there at 4 o'clock in the morning, there's already 50 guys over there who are supposed to work in that day. So what do you do then? They all, I, I, want, I want, I want it. What do you do then? So there were 50 guys and everyone says, I want it, I want it, I want it. What did they do? Let's take like a race. Whoever's quicker, the one who's quicker, the one who's going to get there first, is going to do it. There was a race in Bet Amikdash. You know, a race. Ratsim v'olim bakeves shel mizbeach. As soon as the gates were open, guys started rushing, running like crazy, and they started running up the ramp. Shel hamizbeach shorko shloshim v'shtayim amot. As you remember, there's 32 amas. V'chol akodem et chavero be'arba amot. And every, anybody who was first, who, who got this, distance and he's ahead of his friend for Amot. Anybody who gets almost to the end of it within four Amos to the Mizbeach first, that's him. He gets it. So in other words, you want to do it? Get the first. The Zariz. Kol Zariz Kodem. It's a holy thing. It, it opens the entire day. It prepares the whole service. So he is the Khalitrom Tadeshan. He merited to give to take away the Deshan. No, everything else, everything else was in lottery except this one. Again, why? Because you, because you want this is not part of today's service. This is just cleaning. This is just the cleaning. If two got there at the same time, what do we do then? If two people got there on the same time, you cannot just say, hey, between you, work it out. No, that's not what you do. What do you do? So the two cannot say it's between me and you. I'll give you and I'll give you. So what do they say? Say, there were 30 guys in the race, all the 30 guys were going to make a lottery now. Yeah, so even if you're the fastest, if there was another fast guy that came in with you, you cannot say, ah, it's between me and you. No, no, no. If you don't know, if you were not the Zariz, now it goes back to everybody. And this is how the lottery was used to be done. Hamemone al Goralot, there was a guy who's the responsible for the lottery. Omer lahem, he used to say to them, to Kohanim, haomdim sivo beigul. So he used to stand in the middle, and there were 30 Kohanim are surrounding him, standing in a circle around him. Hatzbiu. And he used to tell them, Hatzbiu, point. In other words, take out a finger. Take out a finger. Hatzbiu. Otsiu etzba. You used to tell them, take out a finger. Why take out a finger? You can just count the people. He says, no, because you're not allowed to count people, but you're allowed to cut fingers. So he's counting the fingers now. Because you're not allowed to count people, but you're allowed to count fingers. And it explains in the Bright in the Gemara. So the lottery guy used to come. Notelet mitznefet mi rosho shel echad mehem. He used to take the head of one of the Kohanim, one of the Kohanim's head. Why? Lehodiyah shemimenu umatchil imnot. It says, you're the start of the count. You're number one. So, so it doesn't going to change. Now, I have your head. This is number one. V'u nukev bemispar mesuyam hagadol arbe minyan al Kohanim. Kegon mea. So let's say there's 14 Kohanim that are in the thing. So he says like 137. 
Yeah, more than the number of the Kohanim, much larger number of the Kohanim that they want. And then he starts counting, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, and he goes around until he gets to that number. He goes around and around and around. Until he gets to 137, ha, you 137, that's you. And that Kohen that he finished with it, he used to be the one who merited. And by the way, this is not the only lottery. We're going to say there's other lottery. That is the lottery. That's how it was done. And what did they use to get, get out? What finger did they use to give out? They used to do achat etzba achat or shtayim, shte etzbaot retzufot. They used to do either that or that. Yeah, that or that. Yeah, either one or two. Yeah. So it says, why is this? Just one. One is better. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So it says, why, why is this? Yeah. So it says, why one or two? It says, it looks like they had the Kohanim, we're going to learn later on, the Kohanim used to eat only meat. That was pretty much Atkins. So they used to have Dalakot Prakim, what is it called? Like all kinds of uh, problems with their, uh, with their joints. Yeah, with their joints and stuff. So some of them, you know, try to take out only your middle finger. So try it. Oh, yeah, no, no, don't hold the other ones. Don't hold the other ones. Don't hold the other ones. Oh. Only the middle. Like Put all of them like this. Yeah, and now try only the middle. Only in the middle. Oh. Ah, you can do it. You see, I can't. If I go, they, they both go together. Ma? Yeah? How do you do it? Try it. Yeah, I have a problem. Look, look. See, the... the yeah, so this is the problem. They're, yeah, so some people had this problem, so it's not fair. So if they take out one, they take out two. Okay. So it says, we're going to count only one, even though you took out two, because I know you have problems taking out one finger. It's okay with you. Okay. agudal and another thing, you should know that you don't take out the thumb as a finger. You're not allowed to take out the thumb as a finger. Beshat ha'agrela, in the time of the hagrela, hata mevuar b'gmara, the reason is brought on the gemara, mipnei ramayim, because people used to cheat. It says it's easy to cheat if you take out the thumb. Yeah, for example, do you have one finger or two finger now? You know, the thumb is foul. The fingers I see, I... Yeah, but the guy can, can see the, the counting coming around, and it's easy for him to, to put the thumb out. No, so now you have two. This is one, this is two. But look, it doesn't matter. When you count only one, you can have five. You count it as one. Right? Uh-huh. So we're going to see. You, you ah, write... Yes, going you, you write that you can count only one. You write... We're going to see that the Rambam actually learns that you either take out one finger or two fingers. And then you, d- you don't know the count. But when it comes around, you can, you can make sure you say, hey, it's very close over here. I can take out another f- finger. It's going to end by me. Yeah, but that's going to the Rambam. Uh, yeah. At the time that it's going, the counting is going to come close, and they're going to figure out who the guy is, he's going to take the agudal, he's going to go like this. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Therefore, he would, he would win the lottery this way. Very good question. But you remember what we said about the Kohanim. Yeah? The, remember w- one thing, Moshe. Remember one thing. You know, all these people who used to cheat in order to become Kohen Gadol, used to bribe, 
they knew they're going to die. They all died that year. They still wanted to die. They were cheaters and they, don't want, and they want to do the Avodah. Both true. It can both be true. You're right. But both aspects can be true. The, the guy can be a biggest cheater and he says, I want to do the work. And yeah. for this his neshama wants to do it. His neshama wants to get close to God. He acts in a different manner. Yeah. So you're right. It doesn't make sense, but that's the way it was. Okay. By Inyan Shavenu, in the matter that we brought, Shamemune no tell me tznefet merosho shalechad, that the guy who does the lottery takes the head of one of them, kotev bal tos for siyom tov, shalechura kach haya omed belo mitznefet ad shegrilu, that he used to stand without the head until the, the lottery took place. Vechen dat the tosfes, and this is what the tosfes says. It says, what does it mean? You, when, you walk in the, in, you, when you walk in the temple, you have to have all the clothing. So how can the guy be without the clothing? That's not, that's not possible. So from this day, some people say, it wasn't in the courtyard. It was out of the courtyard. And then you're allowed to be without your head. It was not respectable. To be without a hat in the Azara. אבל הרמב״ם כותב, but the Rambam writes, והממונה נוטל המצנפת מעל ראשו של אחד מהם ומחזירה. The Rambam just says, he used to take it out and put it back in immediately, just to show this is the guy. מה שמחזירה מיד, that he means it puts it back immediately. ועל ידי נטילת המצנפת ידעו מי הוא האיש שמנו מתחיל למנות. And this is the guy who this counting started with. בכלל ביארנו את סדר ההגרלה לפי רש"י. So in this Mishnah we explain the הגרלה, the, the lottery according to Rashi. And then came the, the question, one or two, you only can count the, counting one, that's why the question you ask. וכן מפרש גם הרב בברטנורה, and Bartanura also explains it like Rashi. אבל הרמב״ם מפרש בדרך אחרת, the Rambam explains it completely different manner. שכך הוא כותב, כיצד מצייפים, how does the Rambam say it? How did you make the lottery? עומדים בהיקף ומסכימים על מניין. It says there are 30 people standing around, let's say, and they all agree. Hey, do you agree to 548? Everybody agrees? Until they have to agree all on a number. 500. And then you have the opportunity to take out one finger and two finger. You don't know how the other people, what they're going to take out. Yeah, you just know the, the uh, end. Anyway, you, you count it as one. According to the Rambam, you're going to see ah, that's, yeah, that's yeah, how you, either one or two. עומדים בהיקף, כלומר שלמונו אומר את מספר כפי שבענו, אלא הכוהנים מסכינים בין המספר מסוים. They have to agree on a certain number. When they agree on a number, now they, they can either take one figure or two fingers. Remember, the number is much bigger than they are. Okay. Yeah. שמונים, מאה, או אלף, אידי, אהנדרד, או תאוזן, או כל מין עניין שיסכימו עליו. Any number that they agree. והממונה אומר להם, and then he says to them, מצביע. והן מוצבים אצבעותיהם, and then he told them point, and then they take out their fingers, אחת או שתיים, either one or two, ואם מוציא שלוש, מונים לו שלוש, and even three, he told them one or, you, the usual thing is was one or two, but if the guy takes out three, we count three. כלומר, שסופרים כל האצבעות שמוציאים. In other words, not like we said before, you count him only as one. You can manipulate, you, you can do something. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 you can't. Only oh, once you take it out, you took it out. That's it. Now you go around. No, 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 no. You, once you put it out, that's what it is. כלומר שפה סופרים את כל המצבות שמוציאים. המוציא שתיים מונים לו שתיים, המוציא שלוש מונים לשלוש. ואין מוציאים אגודל במקדש. And the same ruling goes like this, but you're not allowed to take out an אגודל מפני הרמאים, because it's easy to, to lift it up afterwards. Your אגודל was out. Fingers I can see. And a good deal, you don't know it was in, it was out, you can count. Yeah, it wasn't out, exactly. Shagudal katsar venoach lo tzio velechpeto, because the agudal is short and it's far away from the other fingers. No, no, I... I had it like this, or you had it like this, who knows? Klomar, shamotzi amugdal yechashev et kol haitzbot, so, which means that the person who takes out his thumb, is going to make a quick calculation of all the fingers, ואם יראה שמספר יהיה קלה בו, אם יוציא גם את האגודל, יוציאנו, it's going to make a calculation, hey, if I take out my thumb, it's going to come on land on me. 
ואם יראה שיזכה או לא יציאו, יציאנו יכפהו לפי שקל לפשטו. And if he says, oh, I don't need it, so I can put, put it back in. והמוציא המגודל, אין מונעים אותו לא, so the one who takes out the thumb, we don't count it. הוא מתחיל, הממונה, למנוע מן האיש הידוע שיעשו מצנפות תחילה. And then you count from the first guy he took his hat on and put it back on. הוא מונע על אצבעותיהם, and he counts the fingers. וחוזר חלילה עד שיעשו לו המסכן שהסכימו עליו. And he goes around until he gets to the number that they agreed for in the, in the beginning. 